fucking tired, yeah. So what's up? What'd you say? Feeling good, I'm feeling great. What it do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I have one of those videos. And you know what I mean by one of those videos? It's like, there's only a certain amount of videos that I'm truly, like, I love making Anthem content. But sometimes there's videos that I just can't help but feel like, ah, excited about. Like, watching, you know what I mean? Or, or not watching, but playing. Not even playing, recording. See, I'm all, I'm all flustered because I'm so excited. You know what I mean? I'm all, I'm out of my headspace. You know what I mean? So, basically, guys, what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about everything that we know right as of right now that's going to be at the launch of the game. So these are things that are gonna be at the launch, and then we're gonna talk a little bit of about these things called cataclysms. And I'm actually gonna roll you guys a clip of the in-game like like a voice lines that kind of just like it, it, it was cool. I actually learned about cataclysms and then found this little Easter egg, so I can't wait to show you guys that. So stay tuned for that in the rest of the video. But before we get into all that, guys, I wanted to make sure that you guys know that if you guys are interested in earning a free copy of Anthem, then you guys can go into the link in the description below and get signed up for that. All you guys have to do is sub to the channel. I think it's follow me on Twitter and tell me which console you guys are on. After you guys do all those steps, you guys are officially registered and you guys can be entered into it. You guys can get all set up, all situated, and you guys are in the running to win a free copy of your own. So whether it be for your friend, your kid, your brother, your uncle, your sister, whatever you guys can get a free copy of Anthem uh, on the release day. So, things that we know are coming at launch. Dedicated servers. Obviously not inside of the, I can't tell you how many times I've had to try to do Tyrant Mine and I still haven't been able to complete it because of lagging out at the very end, like right before we kill the boss or, or things like that. So, obviously not dedicated servers and stuff like that, but there will be dedicated servers at launch, so I'm super, super excited obviously there will be story missions leading up to level 30 i cannot wait to listen to the backstory and actually learn the game from the beginning of the game to the end i've been looking for a campaign to play so i'm actually pretty excited about it and i cannot wait three strongholds with more coming later on now strongholds if you guys don't know they're kind of like in-game content uh via you know vaults of glass king's fall raids in a way that you guys complete with your friends, you know. Also, it can be considered dungeons, uh, whatever you guys want to call it, you know. So you do these with your friends, and they're super hard content with a bunch of sponge cake like type of enemies that take your whole team to kill. And it's it's going to be pretty cool. Like I, I from the one that we got to play Tyrant's Mind, from what I have played of it, it's a very good experience. I feel like everybody and every javelin in your squad is utilized to the fullest of their extent. And uh, you know, any mistake could cost you the, the you know having to restart. And I think that that's that's really dope because it takes everybody to have actual knowledge of what their abilities can do. So you're doing the maximum amount of damage. So uh, we know that one. Tyrant's Mind gets introduced inside of the game, and then there's going to be two more that get introduced out of uh, and, and after you know you hit level 30 once in game starts. Uh, legendary contracts, which are like these missions that you go on, and you complete the mission. Um, actually, I had one which was from the Anthem stream uh, a couple of weeks back, so you know we have that as well. That's going to be on the list. Uh, legendary bounties to where you can get, you know, loot. You'll probably get some embers and things like that, you know, when it comes to crafting. We'll do a whole crafting breakdown once the game officially releases and stuff like that. So everybody can understand, you know, what they need to do. And we can break it down to, like, everybody and make sure everybody's on the same page of how they can craft the best weapons they possibly can and things like that. Free play, which you know it, it changes apparently from the sound of what they're what, from what they're trying to do. It sounds like free play is going to be changing a lot. Now, cataclysms is what we're talking about at the current moment. There was rumors of this thing called a cataclysm, which is somewhat like a season in Fortnite. You know, they they directly said you know that they're trying to play off of Fortnite by you know trying to make a world, which this is completely. Uh, th like this is an ingenious thing so far we've only seen it in fortnite and people don't really realize but that's the one thing i will give it to fortnite the map is constantly evolving no matter what like we just had you know the the the, the rifts uh season six we had the 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 you know the dark zones the corrupted zones that had you know special pools of things that uh, you know affected how you jumped and things like that not to mention the dark crystals then we had snow and snowmen and things like that that you can you know be a part of you know ice that you could skate on and so 
the world of Fortnite is ever changing, and that's what we're they're bringing to this game. Now, I'm so excited to see that outside of Fortnite to a game that kind of like actually like not saying that Fortnite doesn't matter because I don't want that i just don't want that in my comment section you know you hate fortnite i can't believe this anyways no what i'm trying to say is is that i think that it could be better used in a game like this where it constantly evolves and changes so in those moments where you're the game gets grindy and you're you're grinding and you're making sure that you're trying to get the next loot and you're trying to get this this that and the other it doesn't feel like so much of a grind as it is. It always feels like a new experience, and it's absolutely genius in my in my in my eyes. So now we also know that it's not necessarily confirmed. Oh, forgot to mention daily and weekly challenges. Those are things that you guys will be able to do. We talked about that at a little bit of length that you'll be able to, you know, do missions for the Alliance and stuff like that. And those will probably be one of your weekly challenges to get a certain amount of XP or so for, you know, your Alliance and things like that. So you also have daily and weekly challenges, which will, you know, benefit over a long period of time. You know, probably won't be so uh, fruitful over the first couple of days. But as you get into that in-game area, you know, it'll probably be very beneficial for you. So uh, Cataclysms. Uh, like I said, these are going, and I'll have links to some of this information that you guys can, you know, directly go look at and read for yourself and things like that. Um, but uh, see, it, cataclysms to go in further, a little bit of further depth is a seasonal content that lasts for weeks that gives you unique gear. Well, yeah, maybe unique. It, it might be unique. It might. The, the word unique when it comes to video games is so weird because like unique could still be something that you get regularly but it would be cool for them to add items that you know if you didn't play for this limited amount of time you wouldn't get you know what i mean now that sucks for some people but at the same time it adds a ton of value to it and i'm hoping that there's a trading system because that could be very cool anyways that's besides the point not trying to overload this game with things they're all like can i have can we have this can we have this but for an rpg that a uh, modern rpg like one now uh, a brand new one to have trading i think that's pretty dope because that's always what it comes back to no matter what rpg you play everybody's always like oh can we trade can we trade is it is it, is it possible for us to trade is there a trade feature so you know it's, I'm, it's of course gonna bring it up so yeah but um cataclysms they're not gonna be every day like i wouldn't assume that they would constantly be every day it would be a string of time so i would say maybe three or four weeks maybe six weeks you know that those are a a average amounts of time but uh yeah guys that's all the information that we have when it comes to the game when it comes to what will we what we will be seeing over the next couple of weeks when it comes to the launch of the game and what's coming to right after the launch of the game so hopefully this excites you guys as much as it does me um if you guys enjoyed this video you guys already know what to do you know leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one peace